is the 23rd of August, 2022. And I find myself, or you can find myself on this day, on this very time moment in time, just before it goes dark, at Brighton. That's the south of the UK, right on the coast. Now, we're not going to be able to take everywhere, because uh, there's more than what meets the eye. There's no sandy beaches, it's all like cobblestone, sort of like stony beach, like big stones. So, I uh, can't really like that. You'd have to travel further up, and way further up, to be able to find some sand. It's all about bother, really, if you, if you can be bothered to travel all the way, um, like about five foot. If you travel like about, um, about half an hour up, up the road you can find some sandy beach, but um, the closest one to you is uh, the sandy uh, stones. Look at that prism, that's a nightclub, and it's part of the Odeon regime, or at least they are associated together. I'm just driving around on my e-scooter, hoping to, hoping to, like, you know, pretty much, you know, catch those things on camera that you may not necessarily catch had, to, had I not been recording. And I say to myself, Oh, I wish I was recording that. From now on, it's just pretty much, I'm going to be recording all the time. Or at least, you know, keep the cameras rolling as much as possible. So yeah, you can see that it's, it's just like, a, there's the, uh, the coastal line, there's some um, road along parallel to the coastline. And you can pretty much see all of the, you know, the, the, uh, as far as the eye can see, really. <laughs> there are some telescopes that you can see that still, still are here. They've been there for many years. You pay like 50p, and it lasts about, like, one minute, and you get to view, you know, super zoom. You can zoom in on things. Um, yeah, it's just a really lovely place to be. I've been here working here um, a lot recently so I've been travelling from my hometown in South East London all the way to Brighton which took me by train about two hours and a half if I was a football fan I probably would be a Brighton football fan but I'm not a football fan I just like football never know if you was at Brighton on that day this date, 23rd of August 2022, if you was here, you might be able to see yourself on screen, I might drive past you, you might be able to spot yourself, or spot somebody that you know, who knows, you might see Duckman, who knows, Duckman loves the seaside, he loves sort of the uh, fresh salty air, I'm just, you know what I do, I do like to drive behind people, and especially now that I've decided that I'm pretty much going to be, like, doing the, more, trying to do more of these videos where I'm just driving around on my electric scooter with my head camera attached to my head, and just pretty much driving around until the battery runs flat on either my camera or my e-scooter, wherefore... I'll have a ton load of footage that I can review and decide if I want to use it or, you know, if something crazy happens unexpectedly, I can, you know, use it for something and, yeah, pretty much show the world via the Misled Ragdolls YouTube channel pretty much, because why not? Um, I find that it's really, really nice to be driving around and with the head cam the camera because like you can cover a lot more ground and also you don't have to worry about like um running into the wrong people you know like like a, a gang or something you know at least i'm on an e-scooter and you know i can decide if i want to drive away or if i'm on foot it's really, it's really not so easy to, uh, if you're on, yeah, sorry about that, my phone was going off. If you're on foot, it's like, you know, you're stuck, you can't really visit many places 
up as much as you can on an e-scooter. And if there is any others, then I guess there's nothing, you know, there's nothing too different about them really. They've got loads of rides there, arcades on the pier, you know, and you know, like a fun fairy sort of thing, like one to catch machines and stuff like that. So you can like, well, also those uh, 2P machines where you, 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 you can like uh, flick your money in there and it sort of like, um, you can retract and get some money. You can win some money on those 2P machines. I love doing them. I love, my, my nan used to love going on them. road experience where I've driven a car before it's pretty much helped me along my way I've used my driving experience and inputted that into my my uh like sometimes I feel like I'm actually driving a car <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm just flying <laughs> on this e-scooter um yeah it makes, makes you feel like a bird <laughs> So I've, I was filming at this very spot the other day where I filmed uh, somebody was filming some other guys or some some somebody accused somebody of filming them something like that. Anyway, I filmed it, <laughs> and I wasn't the person that filmed it. But yeah, basically, I, I started filming. What's all this commotion all about? Something going on over there, and uh, you know, it was like. I started filming pretty much instantaneously and captured almost the beginning of what was what turned out to be like some kind of a um, pedestrian chase, or like chasing some dude. All right, so there's something going on here. Sirens in the distance. I thought at first police sirens, but then I got closer and I noticed that. Like there's some red vehicles. Oh, what else could that be? With uh, blue, blue uh, beacons flashing. I uh, none other than fire, uh, the big fire extinguisher on wheels. You know, there's something definitely going on here. So I check it out. Firemen are going into a building. Very brave men and women. Look, the fire crew. Now I've, I remember like there's a video on my YouTube channel where I documented uh, very brilliantly. I would I would self-impose. You know, like, as I I spent some good. You know, like I tried my best to make a decent video, and it wasn't so bad. You know, like I documented the uh, the field fires over Slade Green and in nearby areas during the heat wave where we got battered by, by uh, you know, like these fires, fires all over the place and uh, it was not a pretty sight, smoke beaming everywhere and uh, yeah there was fire brigade all over the place so I documented it as best as I could but it was so hot that if I, if I was holding my camera in my hand the camera would be so hot, it would be like I'd, the battery would have just spewed out all of the acid alkaline spewed out and I, I was yeah I didn't really want to record you know on that day so I didn't record I didn't document certain parts that I wish I did just because the sheer fact was worried about my camera melting um, but I did document the next day when it was still hot but not as bad as the day before so you can check that out on my channel uh, I think it's I named it something like Firemen Heroes or like the real heroes, yeah, that was it. Because they are the real heroes, firemen, firewomen. There's the new road, fish and chip shops. You know, English, England in general is very well known for our fish and chips. We love fish and chips. There's like nothing more English than fish and chips. You know, we are, we was built, you know, England was built on fish and chips. And it forever will beacon, at, you know, be the beacon of England past, you know, and future. You know, as long as, as long as potatoes grow, 
there's no stopping us from, you know, erasing that memory, that that inheritance that we pass down from generations and generations. You know, it's fish and fish and chips is in our blood. You know, it, it really is. You know, we were founded. We survived. We scratched. We clawed. We survived during those those, those cavemen days of ours. You know, our ancestors. We survived on it. And killing other animals and stuff like that. Which is something I don't agree with, but you know, when you when you think about a crocodile um, just going around eating 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 like all these like birds and fish and you know like ducks and and uh, sorry duck man. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, just like the crocodile is a meat eater, a bit like a shark. You know, they're gonna eat meat. You know, but nobody ever criticizes them for eating meat, do they? I mean, I'm not, I'm not anti-vegan or anti-vegetarian or anti this or anti whatever. I'm not anti anything. I'm, I'm just like in this, 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 uh, this array. Uh, I just believe that, like, yeah, you know, like, we, we eat, we need to eat something, you know, <laughs> so, uh, we cannot always eat fish and chips, we shouldn't always eat the same stuff, you need to balance things out, your diet, your livelihood, your health depends entirely on our, you know, our, us, being able to balance things out. Not eating the same crap all the time. <laughs> you know? Eating the right stuff to get the energy levels going. Man. Sometimes when you're feeling low, it's the only way to go is to do what you know and eat a little bit healthy, you know? You know, fruit and veg. But you shouldn't eat too much fruit and veg because it'll make you sick. Like, it's like water. <laughs> oh, water, 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 however you want to pronounce it. Tomato, 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 tomato. however you want to pronounce it. You know, we depend entirely on what our ancestors left us. And we do. We, we do really care about it. I do. I think it's interesting. We should all, we should all like, respect our ancestors for doing what they did, you know, for, every, for us. And, you know, they, they, the sacri sacrifices they made. Just imagine the sacrifices they made to build these buildings. To have the lovely pier that we have. To have the lovely air that we breathe due to all of these uh, man-built trees or man-dug trees or man whatever you know, we planted those damn trees <laughs> uh, in places uh, where we needed it lack of oxygen you know we, we owe everything to our ancestors and you know thank you very much thank you I appreciate you So when I, when I was coming to Brighton before, I was coming here specifically like for like once per year or twice a year. So it wasn't as much as I wasn't coming here as much as I have been recently, which is like seven days out of one month <laughs> this month. Um, so like um, when I did come here on a rare occasion, during those rare occasions, I would come here and I'll go to. Uh, Raj. It's a shop called Raj and they do the best bananas ever. Yep, that's true. Before I went home, I'd go to Raj. It's a bit of a trek on foot, but when you get there, you know that you're going to be in the presence of the best bananas in the world. They come from uh, Costa del Sol. 
Costa del Sol bananas are the best. It's a bit like uh, coconuts. Co the best coconuts in the world come from the Philippines. It's a known fact. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just sweeter. The coconuts in the Philippines are much sweeter than Thailand. I don't know why. These trip we never get any coconuts here because our country is not hot enough apparently. We get multiple like the seasons. We have like about um, six different weather conditions all in one week. <laughs> Sometimes here in the UK it gets really bad. You know. Not a lot we can do. It's just that's the way it is. There's a club there, Club Revenge. Club Revenge if you wanna if you wanna uh, get revenge on your ex girlfriend or something, go there. I guess that's why they call it revenge. I don't know why else you'd wanna call a nightclub revenge. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably why. Um, there's so many great things. There's I have so so much like there's I've barely scratched a percentage of Brighton, you know. But there is so much going on here. So much going for it. <laughs> I'm gonna finish off by saying thank you Brighton for having me. I'm I'm really um feel so much welcomed uh, into your presence. I love being here. It's the best place to be. Um, unless you're somewhere else that you love more than this. But you know, I I'm just genuinely happy wherever I am.